Blue back again, Sweat Nation, with another video. And today, y'all just seen the video. You seen the title. This bike right here, this bike right here is disgusting. I just came back from a 200 mile road trip and it was an overnight trip. Packed the panniers, did the, did the whole tour thing, set up with this thing and it was beautiful. But now the real work begins because it is filthy as you've seen from the intro clip. So what I wanna do today, cause I'm so sick of cleaning bugs off of these bikes, primarily this one, it just eats anything that gets in its way, cars and bikes. And I mean, sometimes if you're a person, you better move cause you might be included in the new lineup, but it eats everything. So I wanna wash it down and hit it with the, that's right, CQ Quartz. This is a ceramic coat. So we're gonna ceramic coat the H2 today. But before we do that, before you actually get to, you know, ceramic coating this guy, you wanna make sure it is clean. So I'm gonna go through some steps, clean this bike up, and show you guys how I do it. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna clay bar. To jump this off, I'm gonna use two buckets to clean this bike. One's gonna be my rinse bucket, and one's gonna be the wash bucket. You know how it is. You don't be using the same bucket to do the job. No, no double dipping over here, you know what I'm saying? So, we gonna, I'm gonna get some water in this, some hot water, get this baby soaking, lift it up, and we can get it popping. We can get it popping. We ain't gotta get crazy with it. Man, you got a dirty shoe on. You got a little dirty shoe on. Brand new, I would never use on anything, so it's been free free unless I drop it. Unless I drop it. So I got my instant detailer. This will prep the, put the surface for my clay. This stuff feel, feels like Play-Doh. So I got my my mother's uh, instant detailer in my Play-Doh. So what I'm gonna do is um, get the, it says do two square feet at a time. So I spray, I scrub, I spray. Well, I spray, I scrub, I wipe. So that's that simple. I'm gonna start with the front, with the front fan, since this is the biggest, the biggest area that I have to work with. I'm gonna do a windscreen too, because you know there's always gunk on the windscreen. So definitely wanna. She is clean, y'all. Let me get my big stuff out the way. She is finally clean. Tippy top shape. Now all I have to do is apply the quartz. Take this plastic off. Trick this plastic off. I'm gonna do unwrapping for y'all. Listen to that. Oh yeah, 
made out of wrapping. So all I gotta do is apply the quartz 2.0. And uh, yeah, so we have our foam applicator pad. We only have to do eight to 10 drops, nothing crazy. Take this off here. So eight to 10 drops. My battery's about to die. I apologize. One, whoa. That was way more than eight to 10 drops. It comes out quick. Remember that y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, y'all, I've been doing a little water test. So it's been over 48 hours since I applied the ceramic coating. Now check this out. I'm gonna pour a little water on it. Look how fast it's just falling off. That's insane. Keep in mind, I just came from a bike ride and I had way less bugs sticking to the paint than before, before this thing would be Litter with insects, but now I mean, I did a little, I wiped it down, but it only took me like two seconds for the wipe down a little bit of bugs that were on there. And now, look at that, look at that water just, just dripping off. Nothing, it just falls off. So, when you got to go dry this baby. It should dry real quick, but hey, so far, hey, this is my amateur ceramic coat, and it has done a great job. The bike still looks in fantastic shape, even after being, you know, out and about. I put about 100 miles on it, and it's still looking, looking insane. Still looks good. Keep in mind, I only just wiped the front down. I didn't wipe anything else down. I didn't wipe any mirrors or anything like that. I just wiped the this front little area down, the front fairing, and that was it. The side is good. Even below, I barely got, you know, any real insect stuff. So yeah, guys, if you're thinking about if you get the new H2 and you, you know, want to think about a way to protect her, definitely look into doing a ceramic coat. Um, like I say, I'm not a professional. So, don't get it twisted. I just read the instructions and, you know, took my time and applied. It took about two hours for me to start it. Luckily, I started with a fairly new bike, so I didn't have to do any crazy, like, you know, color correction or anything like that. But she turned out, she turned out good.